Hello everyone, I'm Lori Cooch. And today for our um, Makers with Heart April video, we are challenged to come up with a masculine um, project. And if you've followed me for a minute, you know I always do cards. I've done a couple layouts, but 90% of the time I do cards. Today we're gonna do a layout. Um, some of you use them and some of you may not even know about them. Close to My Heart has a digital art library and it's listed on our website on the left-hand side. If you scroll down, it says digital art and they typically coordinate with our paper packs. And we have a paper pack out right now called Hey Handsome. So I got the digital art from that and it actually has a page layout in there. And I wanna show it to you and make, make it real quick with you to show you how easy it is to assemble these um, layouts that they, they provide for us. There's tons of um, images in this digital art file. It's, I think it was $9.95. Totally cost of, you know, not expensive and affordable. So um, I'll put a link to it in the bottom of the video, but there is a pre-made card and a pre-made layout. And so we're gonna make the layout. I did pre-cut <clears throat> my stuff so you didn't have to watch me do that and um, I'm going to tell you what I used I used two pieces of the mist cardstock one mink one harbor this is harbor two paprikas one pine and one black and then I just used a scrap that I had for the white daisy um, these were definitely not needed full size pieces because this is, you know, this is all that cut out. But um, I, I started with fresh, um, a fresh page. So I'm going to start with our mist and I'm gonna slide this off. So the first thing we're gonna put down is our um, mink piece. I'm just gonna throw some adhesive on the back of this. And you know, if you're planning ahead kind of person, I don't always, I didn't actually even need um, the second piece of mist because I could have just cut my letters out of here and out of the middle, it's gonna be covered and you would have never seen it. But I didn't plan ahead. So I'm going to just put this on here. Kind of just, I eyeball things. Probably run some of you nuts. And then we have um, what's gonna be our little background piece. And all I'm doing is just looking at the photo that um, was in the, in the layout or in the digital download. So it'll show you how to do that. And I'm not gonna worry about the sides here because there's gonna be stuff on top that's gonna hold that down. And you're going to just center that on there. And then our picture piece is on the bottom and I cut that out of black. I'm gonna put that down first. And this is gonna come on here as well. So I'm just going to try and line it up so that I know I've got it in roughly the right spot. Looks good to me. And then it cut out um, this little overlay for our handsome. And I'm going to move my page aside for a second. And I'm gonna just grab my, um, my liquid glue. One of these is brand new, one of them is um, plugged up. And I think this is the brand new one. I don't know where my pen went. And I'm gonna just start putting some, um, a thin line of this liquid glue on the border of this. And I moved my page out of the way because I get messy and I come off and, you know, I don't want it all over my page where I don't intend it to be.
I'm really, um, I really love these pre-designed things because I am so behind in my scrapbooking that I need, I need all the help I can get. And I have done layouts with my daughter before. So today I'm using my son. You're going to get to see my son. And the reason I haven't done a whole lot with him is he's very stingy with pictures. So Tyler, if you're listening, your mama needs more pictures. I'm just trying to get this on here before it starts to dry. See, went off right there. It's on my desk now. And this is the perfect layout for these pictures because the two guys in these pictures are just very handsome. In my opinion, I know I'm a little biased, but I don't care. So now I'm going to just put this down. And this is going to go as a guide for our letters. And you'll see it kind of, it's not perfect, um, like straight. So you want to line up your letters and the black is going to be like the border. So like if you had a shadow layer behind it and it really didn't take long to, um, cut this out. Honest, the longest part was getting the photo. There's text messages involved and getting it printed or them printed. They're going to overlap a little bit. Now, now our paprika paper, all of our cardstocks are double sided. There's a light and a dark. So I cut the background on the light side and then I'm going to see, you can see how they match and I'm using the letters on the dark side because I want it to show up. There's some golf elements on this page. I'm, I've cut them out, but I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to put them on here because these guys don't, they're not golfing in these photos and they're not golfers. Well, maybe, maybe Kyle is. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't heard. I'll have to ask, I guess. I can always add it again if I need it. But it really doesn't go with the theme of this these pictures, so I'm not going to put it on. So see, we got our little squiggly line here. I need my little squiggly line here. And this page actually goes together really fast. Like I said, the, the longest part was getting the photos. And I actually think that um, now that I'm looking at this, that the overlay was supposed to go on top but you just roll with it because I've already glued it down and I used it as a guide for my letters and I like it this way anyway. You can still see the black around the letters and it works fine. But if you're making it, I do believe they, now that I'm looking at this, they intended it for it to go on top of 
the letters, but that's fine. Um, one thing I did ahead of time is I ran the words, hey there, through my Xyron, just to make it easier and quicker to add them to my page. And then if you don't know, I just took that off. But before you take that off, you take something like your um, scoring tool for your Cricut, and then you kind of just go around it, and it kind of severs that that glue so you don't get that stringy glue um, once you peel it off of the backing here. See, there's no stringy. So I'm just going to add the hay there up top. I don't know, can you see this? I know most people use tweezers. I'm just using my fingers because I, when I'm scrapbooking, I need to get into the state of mind of it. Just, it needs to get done. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be done. And they, they look fine. They don't have to be perfect. They still look fine. So one of the other things that cut, oh, if I can find it because I'm sure I've lost it over here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. This cute little arrow. So I'm gonna put some glue on it. Put it up here. And then there's stars. Stars and stars. So for the stars, I'm just going to put the, the liquid glue on my page and then set the star down on top of it versus trying to um, get the glue on the star and then get my finger not in it and get it on the page. You can do this with sequins too. And I did just get it outside of the star over here, but it will um, dry clear. So no one will ever see it. So here's the little golf piece. And then there was, um, piece that went over the flag and then there was somewhere a little green piece that goes to make the tea but you know like I said I'm not going to use it it's really cute though because it's they're not golfers um, I'm going to add some extra stars one down here where they have one and then there's actually two extra stars because of what cut out of here I'm just going to add those to the layout as well. They don't have them on theirs, but we're going to have it on ours. Um, maybe I'll put one up here. And then it cut out some three by three um, like placeholders. So I'm gonna put those on there and then I'm gonna put my pictures on top of them. You don't have to, you don't even have to cut them. But I like it, it gives the pictures a little bit of lift off of the page. I'm gonna just gently lay these down until I get them exactly where I want them. Hmm. 
<laughs> that didn't work because I just moved them all. And then these are my boys. So these are my boys. This one is Tyler and this one is Kyle. Aren't they handsome? These pictures are not the best printed quality, so I'm just going to put a little tack until I can get them professionally printed. But I wanted them for the layout and I will get them professionally printed in my next order and replace these ones. I just printed them here on my printer and I have a laser and photo paper and they're just not doing good. But there it is. That it went together really quickly. Like I said, I, I do believe that the uh, overlay was supposed to go on top. That's why it's called an overlay. But um, you can still see the, the black around it. And I really like how this page turned out. So be sure and check out the other Makers with Heart um, consultants. There are seven of us total. We release one video a day starting on the 10th um, each month. So the 10th and then for seven days. And then come back on the 25th where we all release our mystery um, envelope challenge where we all get the same, same items and then create something different. We, all, we always all do something different. So it's neat to see how everybody's thought, thought process is. And I will put links to the digital images and the cardstock and... You know, everything I used on this page will be linked below in the description. So thanks for watching. If you have not yet, please click on subscribe and then you'll get notified each time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.